Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick reaction of the trade that sent Eric Holla to the New Jersey Devils for Pavel Zaka, a one-for-one, -one, straight-up one-for-one swap to the Boston Bruins. This trade, to me, makes sense because... If you're the Devils and you're trying to get Goudreau, you have a guy that just has one more year left. Zaka, I believe, is a um, is a restricted free agent, if I'm not mistaken. So he will have to be latched on and fit into the Bruins lineup that way and see what his money tag comes in. But even so, if he's not, and I miss thinking that, Zaka, compared to Eric Halla player-wise... I think it fits better for the Bruins to have a guy like Pavel Zaka because he has size with the transition game ability, where Hollis has a very good transition game. He had 44 points for the Bruins last year, but he is undersized at 5'11", where Zaka comes in at, I think it's like 6'4", about 2'10", and also is a guy that's coming off of one of his better seasons last year, where he had 36 points and is still building upon that, is only a player that just entered his prime age of 25. So I think, obviously, people are trying to emulate more of Colorado, and similar to what Tampa does with guys with size, with skating ability. Um, I think having a guy like Pavel Zaka to mix into that Bruins lineup, he's great on the transition game, and he has the size that's able to box guys out and be a little bit more brute while he's in the transition game compared to an Eric Holla, who's just good because of his speed and skill in the transition game. So I think this kind of makes sense for both teams, because for the Bruins, they get a guy that kind of fits into the Bruins' mold more, a bigger guy that's able to kind of go into the zone when at his best, I think is going to get better at winning along the boards as well, out of the Czech Republic, and have a good career there with the Bruins, and I think that might be the best move for him. Where in contrast, assuming Hall is not one of those quick flip guys, where you get a guy that has one more year in his contract, then you flip him again for another trade, um, assuming he stays with the Devils, I like that move because Eric Holla basically is what Devils fans and NHL fans hope Miles Wood could be with the great speed and transition game ability and skill that Wood has. It's just Wood's never been able to stay healthy enough because he's even faster than Holla, who's one of the faster guys, because Wood is probably the the top three fastest guys in the league. It's just he can't stay on the ice, and he has the skill and transition ability. So I would say they're getting in Eric Holla what they hope to get in Miles Wood for years past. It's just he can't stay on the ice enough to get that out of him, in my own opinion. So that's why I think this trade, it's not like any star player, so I would put it in the B category, but it definitely seems like a trade that has the potential and good potential to work out well for both sides. And it's always nice when trades can be completed like that. That seemed to just work out pretty squeaky clean for both ends. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please subscribe down below. Up above on the Easy Dudes widget to keep the channel growing to the next goal of 300 or more.